Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of the videos on the Motion Integrated GC. I am Chris Berkowitz and today we're going to take the seat for a ride in a car simulation. I've chosen a simulation called DIRT2 uh, as it is a rally simulation and I figured this should give us some good accelerations to try out the seat in. Now if you haven't watched part 1 already, please consider doing so first as I give uh, all explanations on how the seat works in this part. And today we're going to jump right into it. Let's go! Okay, before we start, a little caveat to this, and that is I have zero experience in race car driving. Uh, I got a driving license, but I've never been much into car simulations or driven a real race car either. Uh, so I just got this steering wheel on eBay to show you the motion integrated G seat and a car simulation. And I've uh, driven it a few times and uh, left the track almost on every event and uh, crashed the car. So just to remind you, this is uh, to demonstrate the seat and its performance and not my driving skills. Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
Well, that was a fun ride. The seat provided some pretty intense shaking and I guess that's what you can expect when driving a rally car. However, what is visible from the outside is only the motion part of the seat throwing me around. What I felt in addition to that was a constant change in pressure from the seat face, the back and the shoulder harness. And it's that combination of motion and change in pressure what makes the experience so intense. While driving, I felt completely immersed in the simulation up to a point where I was actually scared of bumping into things. And I was only looking at a small computer monitor and not even using a VR headset, which makes the experience even better. Well, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to find out more about the Motion Integrated G Seat, visit my website at simpit.info or send me an email to bergeson at simpit.info. What I'm going to do now for the upcoming third part of this video I'm going to install a seat in my FA18 cockpit over there and test it in what I originally designed it for and that is flying fast jets. See you there! <laughs>